Hi everyone, welcome back to another tutorial by CJD Networking. I'm Chris Devey and today we are talking about syslog and how we can send syslog messages from a Cisco device to a syslog server. So first of all, um, we need to make sure we have our syslog server up and running. I'm using Kiwi syslog by SolarWinds. This is a free tool, anyone can download it. So if you haven't got a syslog server set up already, um, I advise you to go to SolarWinds and download this tool. It's very simple to set up, so we just need to check a couple of things here. Firstly, uh, we need to check on our inputs that we have the IP address of our server, otherwise we won't get anything, uh, sorry, our switch, or we won't get anything or we can put in 255, 255, 255, 255 to capture all our IPs. So make sure we've got that in there. Go to our UDP section. It should by default be listening on UDP for syslog messages on port 154. But if it isn't, make sure it's ticked and make sure it's on 154 here. So we're all ready to go. Also, if you've got a firewall enabled on your machine, make sure that's disabled and uh, that's about it for, uh, for our syslog server. Next we will go on to our switch, my test switch. And uh, one important thing is to make sure your time is right, your time and date is right on your machine, so make sure you use an NTP or your time and date will not be correct. So let's, um, let's have a look on here. So if I do a show clock, you'll see mine will say 1993. That's because I'm not using NTP. Uh, I haven't set a time manually on this device. And um, we'll need to just uh, do an NTP server and put an IP address in or a URL of the server that you want to get your time and date from. This is not connected to any internet so I can't do that on here but uh, make sure your time is set correctly on your device. Secondly now we are going to set up our messages so let's type in conft to get into con configure terminal let's type in logging on Let's type in logging the IP address of our syslog server. So my PC is 192.168.1.10. And we want to tell it what we want to log. So let's do logging to traps. So trap. And then if you press question mark, we'll see the severities of what we want to log. So in this case, I'm going to go for informational, which is severity 6. I can type in informational or I can just type in 6 for short. As soon as we've done that, we should start getting some messages come through to our syslog server. So I'm going to exit this. And uh, sure enough, up the top here, we have got a message here saying that someone has configured via VTY0 on this IP address so my IP is the same as the server IP so that's why it's 10 here and uh, we also have a message here as well so now anything we do will be logged to this server so going back to my switch if I do a conf t again, and uh, let's do a interface FA048 and do a no shut, this interface will come up as it has here. It's also shown the protocols come up as well, and shortly it should show the VLAN come up because this is a trunk. So let's wait for that to come up. Actually, whilst that's, uh, that's waiting, um, we can also just uh, do a show 
logging and this will give us some information here on where we're logging to what port we're logging on so it's always UDP 514 as default unless we change that and we can see our messages here one last thing before we go um, we can send messages to multiple servers at a time so if, we, if I do a show run include logging you can see on here we've got our login host server here but we can easily go in and put in as many as we like I'm not sure of the uh, amount you can add but I've uh, certainly in production I've used you know well over 10 um, hosts in here um, not advisable to do really for obviously bandwidth reasons but uh, it will allow you uh, quite a few in there um, so most people would have one or two in there so hope you enjoyed the video and uh, we'll see you next time cheers bye